Tool Addict sent me this cool World War II British Army clasp knife. This is called a marlin spike. It's used for tying and untying knots and rope. The blade had been well used and sharpened many times. And this is a can opener. First I clean the knife with mineral spirits. I use some coarse steel wool and a popsicle stick to clean inside the handle. I was able to get a lot of grime off of this old knife. The steel wool did a nice job inside the handle. This pocket knife had some issues that I wanted to address. The butt end was mashed in a little. And the lanyard ring had a bend to it. I used my little jeweler's hammer to try to straighten out the ring. I think I improved it. I wedged a piece of shim stock in the handle and did some prying with a big screwdriver. I was afraid to get any more aggressive and possibly create more damage. I used a small file to remove the mushroomed metal. Again, it wasn't perfect, but definitely improved. I then turned my attention to the blade. Many sharpenings over the years caused the point of the knife to protrude when closed. I needed to remove metal here to adjust how far the blade closes. I used a grinding wheel in my Dremel to make the adjustment. I had to remove quite a bit to get the blade to close properly. There was still plenty of room to access the nail groove. I also had to try to reprofile the blade. It was in such bad shape, I had my doubts that I could make it look respectable again. I started off with a 120 grit belt in my 1x30 sander. I used my left thumb to apply pressure and to detect when the blade was getting hot. I kept a container of water handy to periodically cool the blade. Okay, here's the blade sanded down to 400 grit. It was never going to look like new again, but I think I got it close to respectable. The next step was a bunch of hand sanding, starting with 180 grit wet and dry and WD-40. Here's how the clasp knife looked after the 180 grit. I worked my way down to 320 grit and then moved on to the fiber wheel. This was my first time using the fiber wheel on a pocket knife. I was happy with the results I got with the fiber wheel. I went over the knife with uh, super fine Scotch-Brite discs in my Dremel.
Then Chuck and I gave it the flitz treatment. I like to protect the polished blade with masking tape when sharpening on my trihone. Here's what the British Army clasp knife looked like when I got it from Tool Addict. I think it came out pretty good. I did the best I could to improve the condition of the blade. The can opener blade has the War Department arrow and is dated 1944. Richards of Sheffield actually started out as Rickarts in Germany around 1900. The company moved to Sheffield in the 1930s and changed their name to Richards. Richards of Sheffield made army clasp knives as well as tools for the military during World War II. The company was successful after the war making low-cost pocket knives. The company was acquired by Imperial in 1977 and sold in 1982. The British Army clasp knife originates from a 1905 design. This became the pattern issued to soldiers in World War I. In 1939, the overall size of the pocket knife was reduced. The new pattern had a sheep's foot blade and a different can opener. A flat screwdriver blade was also added. Early production knives had a copper lanyard ring and a steel bolster. As the war continued on, the copper lanyard ring was replaced with steel and the steel bolster was removed. In 1944, a bottle opener was added to the can opener. Post-war knives featured metal scales. Rifleman Moore has an excellent video on the evolution of the British Army clasp knife. Thanks again to Tool Addict for sending me this interesting pocket knife. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. I imagine a soldier would have spent a lot of time cutting rope and tying and untying knots. The blade is plenty sharp enough to cut this clothesline. The Marlin Spike is handy for opening up knots. I was also able to get the can opener to work reasonably well.